welcome to the Tony Training Series Part 9. In this segment, we're going to be discussing some of the common problems that may come up during toilet training or after we thought the process was finished and what we can do to address those problems. So the first problem that I really hear a lot about and it's very, very common is that the child will not poop on the toilet. So sometimes kids have a really easy time or not even an easy time with this either, but generally kids have an easier time with releasing urine. And when it comes to stool, it can be much more difficult for the child. And it can also be very difficult for the parent if that is the issue. So what can we do about this? The first tip that I want to give you is don't freak out. Now, what happens is that really like I said, it can be very, very difficult for you as the parent when the child is having difficulty releasing stool. And that's for a number of reasons. So the fact that it's going to be a bit messy if they have an accident with this. Also that it's not healthy if they hold, so it gets our anxiety up. This means that we are likely to make the problem actually bigger than it is. And what I want to say is we can minimize the problem by remaining in a calm place. And we can do this by actively choosing to remain so. And by doing that, we feel empowered that we're making a good choice and we can help the child through this. And don't think that this is a little thing. This is actually pretty big if we can stay in a calm place. Tip number two is we may want to explain the process to a child who's having some fear. So kids sometimes are afraid to release stool because there's a feeling that the stool is coming out that is not present when it's urine. And that feeling may make them afraid that they're losing a part of themselves and it's going into this wide open space of the toilet, not like a diaper which is hugging up against them. So what I would recommend is that you take out some books from the library or buy some books that explain the elimination process for kids. Now, these books may be on a level that's much higher than your child is able to understand. That's okay, we don't have to read them the entire text. What we do wanna do is use it as a visual aid and point to the pictures and explain to them in very, very simple words, this is what happens when we eat and this is what our body does with the food. And when we do this, we can actually help the child engage their higher brain, the rational side of the brain, to understand the process and that can help them relax. Now, tip number three is you can have the child poop in a diaper if they really, really want the diaper. Sometimes they request a diaper and just have them do it in the bathroom. And the reason why I say that is because it actually brings them to the, it's like the process already is starting for them of understanding when I have to poop, I do go to the bathroom, but they still need that aid of the diaper. It's not gonna be forever. They're not gonna need the diaper forever. And you say, yeah, sure, you want a diaper? Come to the bathroom and I'll give you one. So that's just a, an, a temporary aid that we use to get them over their fear of going and making on the toilet. And it's perfectly fine. Tip number four is you can also try to help your child relax on the potty or the toilet. So for example, um, pressure is really anti-helpful here, right? If you remember what we said in the first segments where I was explaining all about the process about toilet training, the children have to learn to relax the muscles that are holding the urine in the stool. So here, especially when it comes to stool and we want them to relax the muscles, any pressure, psychological pressure, is gonna make it much more difficult for them to relax those muscles. So we wanna help them, um, we wanna make an environment that is much calmer and more relaxing. And some ways that we can do this are, we may wanna read to the child a book while they're on the toilet. Sometimes kids actually like when you leave them a stack of books and they read themselves. Another idea is you can buy a special toy that you only give them when it's time to poop. For example, there's a toy called an Etch-a-Sketch that 
they use knobs to make a picture on a magnetic background and that's something that's not messy and it's easy to use while they're on the toilet and what you can do is you can say this is a special toy just for when you're pooping and when they're finished you put it away and you only take it out when they have to make and in this way that might help them to be able to relax and release the stool. Tip number five is you might want to check if the child is constipated. Now, if they are constipated and then they have a problem with pooping on the toilet, obviously we just need to give them some kind of aid in order to soften the stool so that they're not having such a hard time releasing. Sometimes what happens is because they're afraid, they get constipated. And that actually just complicates the process and makes it much harder for them to make on the toilet. Either way though, we want to speak to a pediatrician, the pharmacist, and find out what can I do to help my child soften the stool so that it's easier for the child to release. So that was problem number one that we dealt with over here in segment nine. Stay tuned for part 10 where I'm gonna discuss the next common problem and what we can do about it.